a very good afternoon everybody this is aarti kagwade i am the training and placement officer of uh, changu kana thakur arts commerce and science college panvel so students today we are starting with a new interview series that is called being interview prepared and we have today invited mr niranjan mohite who is the deputy general manager of niit welcome sir thank you so glad much to have you here glad to be here and it's been pleasure to part with the college once again thank you so much for yes, the invitation <laughs> thank you so much so uh, sir my first question to you is yes. could you tell me more about your car career journey and the key milestones that have led you to this current role okay so basically i've been in this industry of training and placement for more than 23 years and i am in associated with nit from last 11 years so prior to nit i was into aviation industry i was into it industry retail industry and almost all uh, industries the training and placement i've been handling throughout but in specific nit right now uh, i'm more focus on the banking domain and we are hiring candid fresh candidate fresh graduate for the banking industry and ensuring that the gap between the industry and the students between the skill gap which is majorly We we found that that gap is there. We try to leverage this gap by reaching out to the right target audience inside the college, organizing placement campus activities inside the college, and through that uh, a right potential candidate is identified for the bank, and the bank then does their part of training and the responsibility and giving them on the road job. So that's how last eleven years okay. I've been sourced around more than two thousand five hundred oh. students' career in this industry across Maharashtra. So that's the journey what I had. throughout uh, in my tenure of experience okay that's really nice thanks so much so uh, so we have a students club okay. of placement cell okay. and uh, some of our volunteers had a few questions okay. so radha who is a sybms student she wants to know from you what qualities do you look for when hiring fresh graduates or interns okay so basically we look for a fresher candidate as a fresher candidate so we don't expect any rocket science knowledge from the student perspective but yes the basic discipline uh, in terms of their punctuality in the interviews then their dress code and and the basic understanding so whenever they go for an interview they should know the which organization they're going for interview what are the basic preparation they should have are they knowing the job description well in advance are are they prepared for this interview Uh, and all the basic requirements so if you will ask me in a technical terms it is interpersonal skills only we look right. as a fresher candidate because every fresher candidate has to get a hands hold uh, trainings and every organization is prepared for that so we don't expect ready made candidates who will be well developed candidates can directly hire then there is no freshers they are experience so whenever we look for a fresher candidate we expect them to be either disciplined or they should have a basic interpersonal skill which has communication skills smartness or maybe anticipation to the basic technology digitalization now these are the basic terms which they should be able to handle that apart from that they should know the company details and the job description before going for an interview and that basic preparedness so that's the only expectation as a hr we look from the fresh candidate so in uh, what we experience most of the student they don't prepare mm. even in the campus when we come they are not aware sometime what job it is but they want to apply and try experience so rather they have this knowledge in advance and they go i think they'll have a better chance to get the jobs right so sir you have been talking about interpersonal skills yes so if i'm not mistaken interviews would be the criteria how you would be judging the inter uh, interpersonal skills Correct. Correct. so shruten has asked the next question in the similar lines what mistakes do candidates often make during the interviews if you could help us understand okay. this first thing is the the common mistake what the student does is that they are not prepared as i said earlier also they are not aware of the job description well and they don't read about what is company's nature of business why they are hiring which profile they are hiring so the lack of knowledge and attempting interview is the biggest mistake but apart from that uh, the common mistake they do is they copy paste the cv from some format and they present so they don't have their own relevant information so these are the basic mistake which student does apart from that when they going for an interview they should have some dressing etiquettes to, to be followed that what should i wear you know light uh, presentable shirt or probably shoes has to be wear sometimes student even goes in ketos and all these are the very basic things as a fresher is our expectation the student you know from the his first impression i should be able to understand he's serious and after that 
the interpersonal skills start from his communication skills he should be able to at least uh, express himself and he should have that confidence to talk about his own information you know the first question comes in the interview from uh, interviewer that tell me something about yourself right. and when it is about yourself we should be able to elaborate in detail so about your knowledge about your curriculum what the projects you have handled what is your hobbies and you should be able to elaborate that hobby so interpersonal skills talk about yourself what are the skills that you carry throughout these three years of your graduation along with your education some other extra curriculum activities which college runs what did you are learning from that maybe you led one project maybe you part participate in a networking community so these are some interpersonal skill helps students to uh, put their candidature better in the, in terms of the organization and that's what we expect so when i talk about interpersonal skill it are certain skill set leadership qualities initiative qualities uh, time management and probably some more about personality development traits which a student should have so that comes your dressing sense that comes your presentability that comes your uh, basic communication in english and how to articulate that we majority companies now started taking written test right and in written test they don't check your grammar but how you will uh, comprehend yourself so you know comprehension is the biggest thing because you have to write emails in the corporate so writing those as a comprehension is one of the key uh, subject right now so these are the basic requirement when i when we talk about interpersonal skills which students should have and that is our expectations when we uh, finalize the candidate in the bank uh, because, so when i when i saying it, if i have highlighted 2500 as a number i must have met at least 5000 6000 candidates shortlisted some of the interested some of not interested so th these are the numbers comes after a large efforts so every college does this inter uh, you know inter college activities for what it is only to build their interpersonal skills and that's how they will be able to showcase different from others in the interview right that's my opinion per se yes so uh, uh, thanks for the elaborative description and explanation about how important soft skills yeah. and communication is and we also do have uh, we undertake pre placement training activities yeah. which are undertaken by experts as well as uh, by myself who is training placement yeah. officer so uh, you also mentioned about projects yes. so how important are internships and yes. real world experience for someone who is a fresher it really matters a lot see internship is objectives of internships are mainly 3 to 4 are major objectives of internship if i go technically the number one is handhold experience internships give you handhold experience of probably a corporate culture to understand uh, i i my my mentor has always give me when i'm in school i'm in that environment where i enjoy when i'm in college i have a different environment and when i'm in corporate i have a different environment so to feel that corporate environment internship plays a very vital role how the cultural or surrounding works that's one important thing second it helps you to develop your skill development because you we will be actually learning the domain if you are in the bank you will learn banks domain if you are in logistic you will understand how the supply chain works if you are into retail industry how the retail functions from the warehousing to the production so every internships will give you the skill development which addition to whatever you have learned in the classroom you know when we are in the college we learn everything is in theory but that converted into a practical this during internship and the last important uh, objective of the internship is that you will be able to get opportunity of doing networking with the colleagues as well as the corporates so internship is a very very important i think most of the even government has started internship project for the students now i think maharashtra government has also declared that they are ready to take students and they are ready to pay student during internship so i'm sure internship is one of the important element for a student's career to establish and this will help them to choose their career because if i thought of something doing a career doesn't happen what uh, how the career is getting established by the flow and internship can give you experience which you cannot buy so internship is um, i'm sure it is as uh, whoever the student asked this question but it's a very relevant question and very important question that internship is one of the important element for a student career to mold themselves to understand how the real industry works right so that question was from uh, sapna pandey who is a tyba student and uh, the last question sir is from a commerce student sandeep seth yeah he wants to know what advice you would be giving someone who wants to start their career as a fresher so as a fresher when they want to start their career first thing they need to identify the strength which they have and for which industry they want to go for 
I mean, today, you know, in, when we have completed our education, we had only three three options: arts, commerce, and science. But today, there is a wide range of basket choice. There are students who does BBA, BMS, BAF, banking, and insurance. So many streams are there, and they they choosing it. So I'm sure they when they're choosing it, they have inculcated their interest for this kind of a streams. and that stream has that specialization of subject so first thing they have to focus on that streams to choose as a career which i feel but most of the students they lost interest and they think of this is not my cup of tea that happens more or in it industry which i have seen a bsc it student feels java is a bouncer for me and that doesn't go well for me so for them they'll have to think of that what is my strength am i digitally sound i have then they have to choose they have to choose one domain and they have to get learning from that so Uh, even in for a banking it is not they need any rocket science but they should have a good communication skill they should have uh, inculcation to handle customer handling their and understanding their need and helping the solution similarly in it industry if i talk about because we were also are doing it interview so they should be have a interest of doing coding so even in it industry coding is not the rocket science but at least the basic concept of the student so even if a student goes in cognizant or tcs they don't drill the student that what is your java language or not they, they only know whether you have a basic coding skill is done so my suggestion to the students whenever you choose your career or you want to start as a fresher first thing you should know that where or which industry i should try for there are every organization suppose if i talk about banks every organization they have their uh, website where they have written that the career options right. you click on that option and you will get a variety of jobs available and you have to apply it's a very simple thing but the awareness is something which student does have so my uh, suggestion to all the students who feel that they want to start their career i'm sure as college or madam is also organizing lot of activities during their final year to understand lot of industry speaker comes inside the college lot of uh, corporates comes inside the college to uh, you know down give you this download of career opportunities attend this that will help you to more to get this uh, information about which are the career you should choose and i think technology is a biggest medium there is ai artificial intelligence are there there are lot of tools which has come in the market which will also help you there are uh, if you are confused in this industry also there are lot of psychometric tests which will define you that which uh, strength you have basis then you can choose and last not the least there are expert like us you can consult with us sometime with uh, prior appointment with madam and we'll be able to guide you counsel you that what career you can choose which will help you to succeed in that career and um, i think college is doing a wonderful job i mean last one and a half year i have been personally in touch with uh, madam and i'm i'm seeing uh, tremendous growth in terms of activities so i'm sure these are activities are helping students to take their uh, career wisely okay so sir and students so if we have to learn something from sir i think two three points he has been repeatedly mentioning and highlighted is interpersonal skills yeah. so attitude and skills as i would put it in a nutshell you need to have right attitude a go getter attitude a learner attitude and secondly when it comes to skills more than technical skills it is the soft skills it is the interpersonal skills yes. and communication yes. skills that a fresher needs to work on true yep so students we would come back again with another episode with some other industry experts till then Thank you so much. Thank you so much.